Norepinephrine is the first line vasopressor for most types of shocks and hypotensions except in anaphylaxis and in anesthesia-induced hypotension. In anaphylactic shock, epinephrine is the first line treatment. In anesthesia-induced hypotension, phenylephrine is preferred unless cardiac output is impaired in which case norepinephrine is a better choice. Vasopressin is an adjunct to norepinephrine to help reduce norepinephrine requirements and mitigate potential side effects. It's typically added when norepinephrine requirements exceed 0.25 to 0.5 mcg per kg per minute or around 5 to 15 mcg or actually 10 to 15 mcg per minute in a 70 kilo patients. However, it's primarily studied in septic shock, but it can still be used where norepinephrine is used. Epinephrine is the third vasopressor to add, except in anaphylaxis as we explained where it is considered a first line. Besides anesthesia-induced hypotension, phenylephrine is also used when norepinephrine leads to excessive tachycardia. Dopamine is no longer a preferred vasopressor due to its higher risk of tachyarrhythmias, increased mortality in septic shock, and unreliable pharmacodynamics with variable receptor effects based or uh, depending on the dose. While it may still be considered in bradycardic shocks or when norepinephrine is unavailable, epinephrine remains the preferred choice for bradycardic shock over dopamine due to its more potent and reliable beta-1 effects. Midodrine is the only commonly used oral vasopressor, which is mainly used in chronic hypotension and weaning of other vasopressors, 